Right again, here I am in B&Q in Harlow. Um, looks like they've got some 2023 A case models. We, immediately we can see the, the Nissan Custom Patrol there. Uh, this one, pretty nice. I already have it in a five pack, but I might pick it up. Looks very cool in white. It's the Pagani uh, Huara Roadster. Have you pronounced that? Huara? Very nice. What else is there? Let's have a look. And as I say, looking for the 2023 models like these ones, have the. Have the uh, that's not a true super, is it? No, no, no. They have the little blue, pale blue tag at the top, so it makes it a bit easier to see them on the pegs. Oh, this is one I really am after. This is. That's it, that's fantastic. Let's get it in focus again. That's the uh, Silver S15 Liberty Walk model with the. Um, it's supposed to be the JPS, John Player Special Tribute logo. Sorry, Tribute Livery, I should say, not logo. Uh, obviously, you can't have JPS on a toy. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. Do like that one. So that's coming with me. What else is there? I think there's just nothing a great deal more. What's this one? This is a... Hmm, interesting. The old 70s van. Pretty cool. Appears to be a metal body on this one. Now you see sometimes they have metal base plastic body. This one's got the metal body plastic base. So yeah, pretty cool. What else is there? Not a super, is it, down there? No, no it's not a super. Oh, oh it's a bit of a... Let's get this sorted out a bit. Still looking for another one of those RS2000, Escort RS2000. I managed to find one a couple of weeks ago, but um, not seeing hide nor hair of another one, perhaps unsurprisingly. And certainly not seeing one here. So, yeah, well, these two are pretty nice. Black and white. Very nice. And of course, their prices here actually are. Pretty reasonable for Britain. So what else is there? Plenty more of these exotic envies. We've got the uh, these exotic cars. I can't think what the set's called now, but yeah. So there we go. That's it from B and Q in sorry, B and Q. <laughs> this is um. Let me just apologise for a little bit of brain fade yesterday. I told you I was in B&Q. Um, of course I wasn't. I was in Smith's Toys in Harlow. Uh, B&Q is a, a large DIY store in the UK. Um, a little bit similar to Home Depot in the US. Um, I'd actually just been across the road to the B&Q store and I think I still had my brain engaged that I was there. But actually I was in Smith's Toys. So, yeah, this is what I picked up. Um, it's the latest colour scheme for the LB Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Looks fantastic, I think, in this homage to the 1970s John Player Special colour scheme. The black with the gold pinstriping. I've seen a Mini GT model of a Nissan R35 GTR in this colour scheme, and it looks amazing. Uh, and this is... This is Hot Wheels version of it on the you know, on the Super Silhouette S15, and they've done a great job, I think. We've got uh, Liberty Walk on the side there, and on the uh, the back LB well, LBWK on the uh, spoiler. We've got uh, LB Racing on the front there, Liberty Walk, and some some graphics on the the flash across the screen there in uh, Japanese writing. But yeah, absolutely beautiful model. They've done a great job with this. 
course, we've previously, previously seen this car in the white and yellow and the yellow and white. Um, but this, I think, is the, the best colour scheme by, by far. It looks really cool. Yeah, I was waiting for this. It's the, it's the last model I'm actually interested in from the 2023 AK. So, yeah, very glad to have it in my collection. Very nice. I'll just show you a few other things I've got recently. I managed to get hold of the the Escort RS1600 in uh, B&M last week. Uh, of course, uh, all fast forward models are very collectible here in the UK, so it's been a tough one to find. Um, I've just seen it once and I picked it up. But yeah, it's a nice colour scheme. I like the, uh, the checkerboard roof, that looks very cool. And yeah, nice little model. It's good in that pale blue. Yeah, happy to have this. This is this one is from the 2022 Q case. Um, I was at Sandown Park Toy Fair on Saturday, and I managed to grab this model here, which is one I've been kind of looking for uh, off and on for a little while. Um, it's the first version in mainline they've done for the BM the 2016. BMW M2, and the reason I particularly wanted this one is that it's actually got tempo printing on it, which they didn't put on, I don't think, for any other of the mainline versions. It looks particularly good in red. It also came in metallic blue in this uh, first wave. But uh, yeah, we can see the, the tempo printing on the front there it looks very good. Really, really picked up the details beautifully there with the BMW badge, lights and grill. And on the back, it's not quite so easy to see, obviously, red lights on red paintwork, but they are there. And with the M2 badge and the BMW logo. So, yeah, nice, cool little model, that. Very nice. I also picked up a couple of premiums at Sandown Park, which I'd been after. Um, this is from the Deutschland Design 2 series. The, uh, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. We've seen this one in Mainline a few times. I'm not sure whether it's actually been in the Premium Series yet. Perhaps um, someone can correct me about that. But uh, I believe this is the first Premium version of it. And it does look fantastic. They've done a brilliant job with it. The, uh, the tampo printing on the front, it just brings the car alive. We have... The headlights, the Porsche badge, we have the side lights, we have all the grill work and the vents all picked out in black. Uh, we have the retro style Porsche tampo printing on the side there, harkening back to their 1970s cars. Uh, we have rear lights, we have rear vents on the back, we have the GT3 logo. Done a great job with this, this one. Hot Wheels, we have... Uh, five spoke alloys black alloys and rubber tires and all in all a really cool model very nice i'll just show you what is in the the rest of the series if i can focus it up there. there's a sprinter van audi s4 the porsche and the two new castings the uh mercedes c63 black series coupe and the 94 DTM touring car. Um, none of those really appeal particularly. Actually, the, the, I'd, I'd like to have got hold of the C63, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, but the Porsche was the one that I was really interested in. And yeah, it doesn't disappoint. Fantastic artwork, of course, as we always get on these um, premiums. Really sets the model off beautifully. So yeah, very nice model. I also managed to grab the Nissan GTR, Skyline GTR R33 from the latest Fast and Furious set. I think Hot Wheels now have stopped doing the Fast and Furious sets as a, as a particular strand of models within their range. And they now fall under a new entertainment strand. So there's less of them, basically, but they have brought out one series recently. Uh, I think this was the one that appealed most. There was an R34 in there, but it was, it was a, a colour scheme I've already got. But this R33 looks absolutely gorgeous in the yellow with the uh, full tempo printing, of course. We've got all the, the lights and the grills picked out. 
Um, we've got a tempo printing on the side, they're not quite sure what that is. My eyesight's not that good. Uh, and again at the rear we have lights, uh, I think a California license plate, and some more stickers and uh, Greddy branding on the back there. So yeah, a really cool model, looks absolutely fantastic. Again, black five spoke alloys and rubber tyres. Now, I'm not sure we've seen this colour scheme before. Um, they have brought out a, a previous R33 in the premium sets, but I don't think it was this version. I think it was a pink one, possibly. I could be wrong on that, but but I think this is a new a new version. Again, very popular model. Will be pretty hard to find. I managed to see. I, I saw that sound down. They only had uh, two there, and I grabbed one. So yeah. Very nice model, glad to have it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope everyone's staying safe and well and happy hunting.